You want to increase FPS and boost performance in Minecraft. We're going to show you how to do that in this video. Sodium is the main mod we're going to be using for this. However, I would recommend using a performance mod pack like our mod pack, Notified. There are a few of these out there. They're all based on Sodium for the most part. And the key benefit of them is they'll take stuff and stack it on top of Sodium. For example, our mod pack here actually takes and does things like add in bad optimization, which takes in and optimizes things a bit more. It also adds in things like dynamic FPS, entity culling, things like that to really boost things up, even the immediately fast mod there. Again, a performance-based mod. So they're adding in a bunch more mods into these type of mod packs, including ours, Notifying. You can find Notifying on CurseForge and on Modernth. We're going to be using this for this video. It is not uncommon for FPS to quadruple when you use a mod pack like Notifying. I personally love Notifying, but it's up to you really as to which one you want to use and all of the performance-based mod packs are relatively similar. It's just kind of what specific style you're looking for. Ours tries to mirror Optifine and get updated as quick as possible while providing even better performance. So here we are in game. We can go to options and video settings, and this is where everything is going to live for sodium. Now, there is going to be more here than there is in default sodium because Notifine adds them more on top of sodium. But the first thing you want to do for the best performance is to turn off shaders packs. Now, actually, you can get decent performance with Makeup Ultra Fast shaders and a lot of these type of mod packs. But to get the best FPS, we're going to start there. Now, I'm not going to say turn everything down all the way. That's going to be the best way to get the most performance, obviously. The goal here is actually to give you good performance while still making the game playable. So I'm actually going to leave the render distance at 12. But we're going to turn the shadow distance to disabled. We're also going to turn the simulation distance all the way down. Brightness, pretty much everything else on this screen doesn't affect performance except V-Sync and max frame rate. If you have V-Sync on, it's going to limit your frame rate, as it explains there, to basically what your monitor's refresh rate is. Now, that's technically all the FPS you really need, but I'm going to go ahead and actually turn this off. That way we can see the FPS we can get. And then if you limit your max FPS as well, you're obviously going to run into issues there too, because you're only ever going to get, in this case, 120 FPS. So we'll go ahead and turn that all the way up to unlimited. However, you really don't need more than like 30 FPS to play Minecraft. So if you're getting 30 FPS, you should be good. If there is other lag, we'll look at that here in a second. Now we can go ahead and apply these settings and move on to quality. Now for graphics, we are going to go ahead and turn those on to fast. For color space, you can just leave that as default, which is sRGB. Fancy grass, we're going to turn that off. And then resource compatibility mode. I actually recommend leaving that on as well as some of the other stuff here like grass blocks and snow, dirt paths, all of this stuff, just because it's not going to have a huge performance impact but it is going to make Minecraft look a lot better. I would recommend turning off better snow though. Now for clouds, really not a big performance impact, but technically turning them off is the best way to do it. And then you can ignore cloud distance. Weather, we wanna go ahead and turn that to fast. Leaves, we wanna turn those to fast as well. Particles, we wanna turn that to minimal. That's actually quite a big performance boost. Same thing with smooth lighting, turn that off. And biome blend, we can turn that down to a one block as well. Now these two, smooth lighting, biome blend, don't have as much performance impact, but smooth lighting specifically, if you don't have a dedicated GPU, can actually be a big, big deal. And at a distance, we want to turn that down to 50%. We'll turn off Entity Shadows, and Vignette doesn't really affect performance. So you can actually just set that to whatever. Same thing for Distortion Effects and FOV Effects. They can sometimes create a look of lag, though. So if you are getting some lag and you're like, it feels a little weird, maybe turn these to 0%. Mitmap Levels, we want to turn those all the way down to 0%. Those are going to have a big performance impact. We're going to go ahead and click Apply. We'll reload the game there, and we can move on to the Performance tab. Here, generally, just leave it as is. Do not touch anything here. Leave it all in a what a lot of this is going to do is actually fix some of that lag outside of FPS. If you have any like jumping and things like that, this is what can really fix a lot of that stuff. And so that's why I recommend just kind of leaving this as is. After that, we can go on to advanced here. And again, just kind of leave this the same. You don't really need to touch anything here. And then more culling is not going to be something that is in default fabric. So I'm not going to go too much into this. But if you are using Notifying, technically just leave all of this the same and you should generally be good. You might want to turn leaves culling to fast, but it's still not going to be in default sodium. So we're going to kind of skip over this, but it does provide a more better effect if, for example, you wanted to turn off rain and snow culling, you could do that or something like that. But generally, we want to leave this just as it is. Animations, we're going to turn all of the animations off in the best performance, but I like animations, and like I said, we're trying to give you good performance while still having the ability to enjoy the game, so we want to leave all those on. Particles, we'll turn all of these off. Again, 
you could go down through these and set these specifically. The more you turn off, the better, but I'm turning all of them off because a lot of times particles can actually have quite a big performance impact. For details, the same thing here. I like all of this stuff, so I'm actually not gonna turn it off, but turning it off would give you a bit better performance. For render, I actually don't like fog, so I'm gonna turn off the fog. It's not really for performance, but it's just really for a look. However, it doesn't affect performance too much having fog, and sometimes it can actually make it feel like performance is a bit better. Same thing for like armor stands and all that stuff. So if you want to turn those off, you can, but we want to get a good gameplay. So we want to make sure that those are turned on. For extras, leave all of this the same. Show FPS in the corner can actually be helpful. And what this is going to do is it's going to show FPS in the game all the time. That way you can kind of see what's going on. You can change your cloud height and stuff. But overall, this stuff isn't going to make a huge performance impact. Finally, we can click apply and done and we'll jump in game. But before we do that, have a quick message from our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Now here we are in game, we can see in the top left up here, I am getting 300, sometimes peaking over 400 FPS. Now remember, you only really need 30 FPS to make things work well. As you move around and chunks load and things, you will actually get a little more lag. And by lag, really your FPS will just drop some, but you really won't feel it. You can go into options, video settings, and we can enable shaders packs. And like I said, we'll enable makeup ultra fast. Quick shader tip here, by the way. If you go into shader pack settings, you can change your profile to actually get a bit more performance with like the low profile, for example, while still keeping shaders. Even with shaders on, we are well over 100 FPS on average, and we are well over 200 kind of for our peaks. So pretty good there, and that is how you can optimize Minecraft, even with shaders, to get the best performance. Now, obviously shaders isn't included by default with Sodium, but with Notify and a lot of other performance-based mod packs, it is included. So I wanted to show you that you can get good performance with shaders here using these settings. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but we will see you in the next video, and I am out. Peace.